to graph derivative functions is to, I don't know, turn on the grid to give you a better sense of what's going on. Now down here in the input bar, go ahead and type in um, your function f of x. We'll start with sine x. When we press enter, we get a nice sine curve here. Go to the new point tool, click that, and if you highlight or just put your mouse over this curve, it should become bold, press enter, and you get point A. Now, by clicking the arrow tool, you should be able to move point A around, and it shouldn't move off of the curve. Next thing we're going to do is add a tangent line. So we're going to type in tangent, and then with a square bracket, we're going to type the point A, followed by a comma, and the function that we want it to be tangent to, in this case, f of x. I'm going to press enter here, and on our graph, you'll see that it is um, indeed a tangent line. Even if I move point A around, the tangent line will change. Next thing we're going to do is create a fancy point B, and its coordinates are going to be this. It's basically the x-coordinate of A, and then the slope of the tangent line. Well, I noticed that my GeoGebra file is named it A, so I'll use a little A for the line, and I press Enter. Now, when I press Enter, I get a point B that shows up. As I move A along, B is the slope. So the last thing I want to do is pull down the control key when I press on point B, and I get some extra options. And one of them is to turn trace on, do that. And what I now get is a cool showing of all the slopes along the curve, y equals sine x, or f of x equals sine x. And if I don't want to see b anymore, I can turn it off by clicking the little circle next to it in the algebra view. Um, I can also turn it back on if I like by clicking here again. And the last thing I'll show you is that you might not want this trace to be on all the time. So by clicking this move graphics view, it will erase it by moving this grid around. Um, what's nice is that also, even if I do a new function f of x, so let's say I did sine of 2x, um, everything's already in place. So even if I move point A around now, excuse me, I need to go back to the arrow tool. If I move point A around, um, it still has the same properties of the slope and the, the, um, the tracing is still on, just a different function. So that's kind of nice. That means you can change f of x to be whatever you like. Enjoy!